we are a nation in decline. We are a failing nation. We are a nation that has the highest inflation in over 40 years. Where the stock market just finished the worst first half of a year in more than five decades. We are a nation that has the highest energy cost in its history. And we are no longer energy independent or energy dominant, which we were just two short years ago. We are a nation that is begging Venezuela and Saudi Arabia for oil. We are a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan, leaving behind dead soldiers, American citizens, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment in the world. We are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people, and it will only get worse. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've never seen anything like this. We are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. Fake news is about all you get. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, where crime is rampant like never before, where the economy has been collapsing, where more people died of COVID in 2021 than in 2020. We are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon and China to use the trillions and trillions of dollars it's taken from the United States to build a military to rival our own. We are a nation that over the past two years is no longer respected or listened to all around the world. And we are a nation that is hostile to liberty and freedom and faith. We are a nation whose economy is floundering, whose stores are not stocked, whose deliveries are not coming, and whose educational system is ranked at the bottom of every list. We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. But soon we will have greatness again. It was hardworking patriots like you who built this country, and it is hardworking patriots like you who are going to save our country. There is no mountain we cannot climb. There is no summit we cannot reach. There is no challenge we cannot beat. There is no victory we cannot have. We will not bend. We will not break. We will not yield ever, ever, ever. We will never give in. We will never give up. And we will never, ever back down. We will never let you down as long as we are confident and you know. The tyrants we are fighting do not stand even a little chance. Because we are Americans, and Americans kneel to God and God alone. And it is time to start talking about greatness for our country again.
They make our lives hell, Sean, every single day because they are threatened by Donald J. Trump. And honestly, I hope, and I'm saying this for the first time, I hope he goes out and beats these guys again. Because honestly, this country can't survive this nonsense. It can't. This is not who we are. This is who Venezuela is, Sean. This is Banana Republic antics. Having a home of the 45th president of the United States raided by FBI agents, safe, broken open. This is not who we are as a democracy. Imagine if that happened to, to Barack Obama. The, the world would be in an uproar.